In this video, we will discuss how to import a georeferenced raster image into MicroSurvey CAD. In this example, I have a JPEG image as well as a world file or positioning file that's going to place the image in the correct position in my drawing. If we open that world file with Notepad, we'll notice it's very simple. It simply contains two rows for the pixel sizing in the X and Y direction, two rows for the rotation about both the X and Y axis, as well as the position information. So I have a blank drawing here, and to insert the image, we'll go to the Insert menu and Attach Image. We'll then be prompted to pick the image file, so we support many files types such as JPEG, TIFF, PNG, so you have many that you can choose from. I'll choose this JPEG image. We can see the location that the image is stored, and now we are prompted to choose a positioning file. I'm going to pick the JGW file, hit open, and now we don't need to worry about any of the insertion point or scaling or rotation because that's all contained in the positioning file or the world file. You'll see a preview of the image. We can review some of the details such as the file size or the resolution in pixels. We can add transparency if we would like and we can have a clipping boundary which is essentially just a border around the image. Click OK. And as we zoom out we can see the image has been inserted if I move my mouse down to the lower left corner, we can get a rough idea of the position of that corner. And that seems to be correct. If I want to make some changes, I can go back to the Insert menu and pick Image Manager. Or I can simply pick on the border of my image and that will add a new ribbon menu above. We can open the Image Manager or we can change some other settings such as clipping. I'll do a new clip. And we can then pick a rectangular shape. So I'll hit Enter. And I could pick the right corner and the left corner and it'll clip our image. Again if I pick on the boundary I can review more options, I can alter the quality, as well as the frame, I can turn that off. We'll note that the border around the image has disappeared. So that's all there is to it, it's very quick and easy. Thank you for watching.